What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some more fun with the caliber body armor that we tried out earlier this week. It was pretty impressive. So today we're gonna see how it holds up against the full auto. Let's go get set up and get started. So this is what we have today. This is caliber body armor. This is AR-550 steel with a coating on the front. This was sent over to us by Caliber Armor to test against our elephant gun, and it held up really well. It was a lot of fun. This is actually rated for 5.56, 5.56 green tip, 762 by 39 and a lot of other stuff. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to blast this today with the full auto AR, see how it does against multiple hits of 5.56. Not just gonna shoot the plate though. I've got a watermelon over here. I'm gonna duct tape the plate to the watermelon. I just gotta go get the duct tape, so I'll be right back. Hey! Oh, come on, man! It's okay, it's okay. That's why I always bring more than one watermelon. It's no big deal. God, I can't believe that guy. <sighs> All right, I got another watermelon. Armor's got a little bit of watermelon juice on it. Okay, Let's see here, it's such a mess. I just cleaned this place up yesterday. All right, let's see if we can duct tape this watermelon to our plate. Watermelon's kind of slick. All right. All right. So since I've got some time to kill, I want to go ahead and say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. If you need anything that would be considered outdoor recreation, be sure and check them out. And if you do, make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTIC. So it'll get you $20 off any merchandise order that's $100 or more. So we got the plate set up with the watermelon behind it. We got the full auto AR, and we're gonna start out with just a 30 round mag with 5.56 five, full metal jackets. Let's see how it handles this. Oh, goodness. Let me go see if I brought another watermelon. You know what? Uh, let's just finish up real quick. I'll cut that right there. And uh, we'll shoot it a few more times. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't really account for the plate falling down. Uh, it fell over. <laughs> And then I shot the watermelon. <laughs> so we don't really know how much energy transferred into the watermelon because I shot it, but let's look at our plate. So we had multiple hits. Got one there, here, 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 there. And it held up great. No dents, no holes out the back. Okay, well, uh, obviously a watermelon is not going to keep it uh, standing upright. So let's just pin it up against our railroad ties and we'll shoot it one more time. If you haven't noticed, I got new Kinfolk t-shirts. If you don't know the definition of Kinfolk, it's right there on the shirt. If you want to check these out, there's a link in the description down below that'll take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. So we got the plate set up for round two, and this time I'm going to be using my 90 round snail drum loaded up with 90 rounds of 5.56 five, full metal jackets. We got a jam. You just got jammed. Go set it back up. Oh dear. Oh. All right. Let's try again. Oh. It keeps it keeps falling over.
I don't think we're gonna get through this whole drum mag. You know what? It's gonna blast you in the berm there and call it quits. So there's multiple hits on this plate. It's hard to see some of them because there's a lot of mud on this plate, but we hit it multiple times. Looks like it held up really well. Of course, we don't have any holes out the back, but we do have a hit here and there where it got shot when it was laying down. No big bulges back here or anything. It held up pretty well. The only thing that really didn't hold up was the plastic coating it looked like it looks like it caught a lot of splatter though <laughs> chewed it up real good and we got some gravy on it because still got some gravy on the ground over here from uh, our previous video all right ken folks that's it for this full auto friday it didn't go exactly how i wanted it to the t-rex destroyed one of our watermelons and i would have had an extra one for the video if he wouldn't had the plate kept falling over and we had a jam but other than all of that i had a lot of fun and i think it went pretty well if you enjoyed today's video do me a favor and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button also make sure you check out kentucky ballistics clothing and make sure you check me out on patreon facebook instagram and twitter links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website kentuckyballistics.com again my name is scott thank you so much for watching kentucky ballistics and i'll see you next time